All right, we're at the little tiny anvil. Um, this is just a little block one that I ended up making. Got some, uh, I think it's 4140 steel. Heated it up until it was red hot and then quenched it. Then drew out the temper a little bit so that it was not hard, but hard enough that it wouldn't break. It's got a pretty good rebound on it. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our hammering. So in case you didn't know, for annealing, I've annealed all of the leaves already, by the way. Um, if you have a Sharpie mark on your metal prior to you putting your torch to it for annealing, the Sharpie mark will typically burn away right before the metal is annealed. So uh, that works with copper and brass and I think sterling and fine silver as well. So that's something you can do if you have a hard time trying to figure out whether or not you have it at the right temperature or not. So anyway, texturing. So we are gonna strike right on this side. We're gonna strike all the way down the leaf. I'll start at the center, move up, go back to the center, move down. And we are striking on the open side of, primarily on the open side of the, uh, the leaf. And I've redrawn my Sharpie marks on there. So we'll go ahead and do that. Here we go. And you'll see the leaf start to curl. That metal's moving to the left of my, uh, over this way. And now I have slightly curved, so I can take that metal and I'll stip it, put it on the end of the anvil so I can grab it and try and keep it for you guys to see. Make sure I get my lines right. So here, see it has started to curve slightly different. That's because when my hammering, my, I'm starting to hammer more on the spine this way to curve it than I was on this side. So if I start hammering again and I pay close attention to being on this side, I should be able to curve that back. Let's see if we can make that happen. So now you have this it started to curve this way, but I was able to curve it back, and this is the closed side. So I was still hammering on that open. Now that we've done one side of texture, the other side has kind of a show through, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of my hockey pucks, put that down, and then I'm gonna make sure my lines are the same. Line it up. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna focus more on the open end than I do on the spine end, the uh, folded end. And I'm just going to add texture. It will start to curl up. Come back down. And then I'll hold it kind of with my fingers if I need to. So that's it, that's kind of textured. I've got a little bit on both sides. What you can do is anneal and then just start lightly hammering, um, get a little bit more texture. But you'll see that when this comes out, when I unfold it, it'll, it'll be pretty awesome. And that's pretty much it. Let me do one more, just to kind of do it one exactly the way I normally do. I wanted to try and curve the metal and then curve it back to show you how you can fix a formation. So we'll do this on the sides and I could use the steel but this is here I'll use it the texture from the fishing spinners adds kind of a unique Same thing. And I am hammering at a slight angle. I'm gonna over exaggerate to show you. 
so that I hit that edge and I start curling it not necessarily like a pea pod but the opposite way like a, a leaf would kind of curl forward. go and kind of do the get some texture all around so look at the other side maybe even it out a little bit and then at this point once I've done my hammering I'll anneal this again so that I can unfold it so I'm gonna do a couple more off camera and then we'll come back to the bench and we will go ahead and see what it's like when you unfold them. I'm gonna film one for fun here. I don't think I've done this technique with uh, ball peen before. I know that you know you get different results with different things and you never really know until you experiment. So we are going to experiment on camera. So we're gonna, let's do ball peen on the open edge. So here's my open edge, there's my folded edge. So we're gonna mostly peen on the open edge and kind of see what we get. Have it held between my fingers to kind of keep both ends down as I'm hammering. I don't think we're going to, I think what we're going to end up doing is creating this outward texture here. See how it's starting to round? kind of scallop a little bit. I think that's what's going to end up happening. Because remember, a ball peen stretches metal all around, and a cross peen stretches it up, down, or left and right, depending on how you orient your hammer. So what we're doing is we're stretching it in all directions and actually creating those little scallops. which could be an interesting texture on a leaf. So we'll grab hockey puck, do the same thing. Make sure I got the right side, yep. So yeah, that's gonna look kinda cool. Take the, uh, flatten that out a little bit, and that way it'll be a little easier to unfold. But in order to add to that, I'm, I'm going to do some cross painting. So we'll go up and down like we do a texture of a normal leaf with those scallops already formed, and we'll see what happens. curling it. See how it's moving. There's kind of one, see this is straight here along the spine and this is starting to curl back toward that spine. And that's because I'm focusing my hammer straight down and in and then as it stretches, it stretches along that level. If you want to do the opposite way, so it went this way, close up like a pea pod, you would hammer on the back folded portion. So let's finish this up. shape like that. So we will do this on the other side, just to get a little bit of texturing. I know I'm doing it on the steel, mostly because I just want to see what it looks like when I'm done. And it won't completely ruin the other side texture, it may help blend it in. It's all personal preference. See this one's going to be pretty nice. So what I'm seeing right now is that I'm trying to bend that. I have hit the point in which I no longer feel comfortable hammering on that because if I were, I would start splitting that metal and I would end up um, 
One moment, please. Saw something. I would start uh, running the risk of ruining what I've done already. So that's kind of um, what's going on. I'm going to do, I suppose, do a pea pod. Since we're filming this and there's nothing else to do, we'll do a pea pod. So I have the same folded leaf, only instead of hammering on this side right here, which is our open, I'm going to hammer on the closed side. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hammer and I'm going to push while I'm hammering like that. I'm going to start from the center workout, turn around, center workout. And I'm just going to focus on this spine. Starting to curve that around. I'll do the other side now. And when I'm doing that, I'm actually twisting into my hammer as I'm hammering, and that's going to aid that kind of moon like shape. side and we are hammering here so I'll start from the center move out and I'm gonna get a little bit more curve out of that same thing the other side a little bit more curve So that's what it ends up looking like after it's starting like that. And that's just with hammer texturing. It can be refined later on. This one's slightly different. This one I did with just the flat portion of the hammer to see kind of what would do there. And then when I unfold these, we'll kind of see what they all look like. And then these ones are done like leaves. So different hammering does different things. And if you understand it, you can start making pretty much whatever you want as long as you understand how the metal moves and have a plan on what you want to do. All right, we will go anneal and unfold. <laughs> 